Hey everybody, coming to you from the woods today. Um, thought I would uh, take you on a little adventure of what I did today in the woods. I'm gonna call this Project 30. I uh, got just bought a brand new parcel, 30 acre parcel, and uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start doing some major work to it. Start getting it ready for hunting season. I got a forester coming out in about a month, so hopefully we can get it thickened up a little bit. It's already pretty thick, um, but it, it still needs some. Um, improvements and you know never never enough I guess so um, again I'm gonna kind of take you guys along as I do this kind of stuff just to kind of show you how what I'm doing and how we're getting things so you guys can kind of see and just to bring another addition to our page project I'm bringing you today is gonna be a seclusion food plot um, it's my food plot sitting right off a of bedding almost right in the bedding I got bedding here this is all thick bedding all through there unfortunately in that bedding there's some um, bush honeysuckle. Bush honeysuckle is an invasive species. Um, I'm gonna have to eventually get rid of that. It won't be this year. I think I'm just gonna let it go this year and then next year that's gonna be a project that I take over, try to get rid of it as much as I can so that I don't get a monoculture. So today with this seclusion food plot, I did add some hinge cuts to it. You don't need to add these. Not everybody needs to add hinge cuts. The only reason I did this is for my access and it blocks the view of my access for the deer. And it also just makes it, I separate this a little bit here. Separates the two food plots. I did take out a couple maples here as well. Okay, this is gonna open, open up that big canopy. These will get sprouts off them as well. I'm um, not really worried about it getting sprouts off of it. On this side of the hinge, the deer will come right out of that bedding there. I got a trail going right down there. So they'll eat all the way down. Just left the trees that I cut just laying there. And then it did actually fall onto another tree, which will sprout off as well. Um, so we'll continue to get some growth there. There's a trail running out to the main food source across the road. I got all these hinges that I did, cut some other trees off as well, hinged all these. Some of them did perfect what I wanted them to do. Some of them did not, but that's again, that's fine because I'm going to get some side cover with the, with the, the trunks here. Um, but this is going to create a huge mess helping me act help me come in and also making it Making a deer feel secure in this food plot now I'm going to kind of show you this food plot from coming out of one of the bedding here. Okay, so if I come out of the bedding If I'm coming out, this is what here is going goes down there a little ways and then on the other side Coming out the other side of the bedding there on the other side of that Okay, and so that runs down it runs right down here. I put a nice chicory clover mix in there. Uh, 60 percent, probably 65 percent chicory, 35 percent clover mix. I'm trying to add that um, chicory in there for the for the deer. Um, bucks love that chicory coming into the fall, so I added that in there. At the end of this corridor here, my stand. I'm gonna have a stand in a location right over there. Okay, so that coming right off of that. So as they're coming down this corridor, they'll have some licking branches or licking vines that have been placed in there. These vines have been used already a few times. I got some licking vines. Okay, and then just over that hill, there's some more food. Over there, I got more bedding over there. Um, but today, that's what I'm going to bring you is um, my first step to trying to improve the habitat uh, not only I'm not gonna go crazy with food plots under this wood section I'm gonna probably add a few micro food plots I don't know if I'm gonna do any more this year but I'm just gonna kind of watch this one to see how it does and see uh, see how the deer react to it kind of just learn how these deer around here are gonna react to this and and go from there uh, just trying to give them something different to feed off of rather than the crop fields around and then also get them on their feet alert earlier in the day with a micro food plot just outside the bedding. So I hope you guys enjoyed today. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna start bringing you some more stuff from Project 30 uh, and uh, leave some comments, drop some comments in there and let me know what you think and everything like that. Talk to you guys later.